Hi everyone. Today's lesson is about reported speech. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to report the statements to talk about issues related to citizenship. Ready? Let's start. Read the text below to answer the question. What did Jack and his family do to serve their community? Citizenship is being a good member of your community, following the rules and helping others. There are many ways to show citizenship. Jane, a student from our school, asked some of her friends about how they show citizenship and got the following answer from Jack. I have school every day. In the weekends, I play games and I enjoy myself. However, once a month, my family like to volunteer. Last month, for example, we organized the cleaning day where all the families in our neighborhood work together to clean the streets, prune the trees, and repaint the garden's fences. Next month, we will visit the elderly house. We have already bought them many beautiful things. We're planning to have lunch there and help fix up the house. Community work is tiring, but it makes me feel satisfied. Okay, any idea about the answer to the question? What did Jack and his family do to serve their community? Let's check the answer. To serve their community, Jack and his family organized the cleaning day where all the families in the neighborhood work together to do what? To clean the streets, prune the trees, and repaint the garden's fences. Now, back to her class, Jane reported to her classmates Jack's answer. Jack said that he had school every day. He explained that in the weekends he played games and, he in and enjoyed himself. But once a month, his family liked to volunteer. He added that the month before, for example, they had organized a cleaning day where all the families in the neighborhood had worked together to clean the streets, prune the trees, and repaint the garden's fences. He also said that the month, the month after, they would visit the elderly house and that they had already bought them many beautiful things. They were planning to have lunch there and help fix the house. In the end, Jack concluded that community work was tiring, but it made him feel satisfied. Now, as you notice, in the first text, we had direct statements or a direct speech. And now here, Jane reports that speech or reports Jack's answer. Here we have the two texts. The first text is direct speech and that one is the reported speech. Now, spot the differences in the two texts. As we can see, here we have quotes there we remove the quotes. Here we have, I have school, and there we start with Jack said. That is, we add a reporting verb. There are many changes. Let's look at them in detail. I have school every day. In the weekends, I play games and I enjoy myself. But once a month, my family like to volunteer. How can we report this? statement. Of course, we add a reporting verb that is said. Jack said that he had school every day. He explained another reporting verb. He explained that in the weekends he played. So as we can see, I 
he have had i he play played again enjoy enjoyed my his and like liked these are the changes last month for example we organized a cleaning day another statement how are we going to report it of course by adding a reporting verb that is what that is added great he added that the month before so what are the changes here last month the month before the month before for example they had organized what do we have here in the direct speech we have we organized we they organized had organized our there worked had worked let's go on with another statement next month we will visit the elderly house we have already bought the many beautiful things again how are we going to report these statements of course by what by adding a a what great a reporting verb what is the reporting verb here said he also said that the month after so as we can notice next month the month after we they will would we have already bought them had already bought them we are planning to have they were planning to have one more statement community work is starting but it makes me feel satisfied again we need a reporting verb great jack concluded that community work was starting but it made him feel satisfied again what are the changes we can notice reporting verb makes made me him now let's look at these changes by comparing the two texts here we have the direct speech and there the reported speech i have jack said that he had etc etc okay now let's formulate the rule what are the changes we can bring to a text when we report it direct speech we have for example present simple it's changed into the past simple and of course we shouldn't forget the reporting verbs have is a simple present verb it's changed into had we're talking about the text or the above text the reporting verb in the text was what do you remember great said play played and the reporting verb do you remember yes explained enjoy enjoyed the reporting verb is explained again and like liked once more the reporting verb is explained good makes made the reporting verb is concluded of course in the text we move on okay now other tenses we have present continuous example in the text is our planning it's changed into we're planning past continuous and the reporting verb was what said present perfect have already bought had already bought that is the past perfect and the reporting verb is said the past simple organized is changed into the 
Past perfect, present perfect, past perfect, past simple, past perfect. So organized, had organized and worked. Any idea? It's in the text. Had worked. The reporting verb is added. For the future, it's changed into what? It's changed into the conditional. Would. And the reporting verb is said. Now let's proceed with other changes that we can make when we change a text from direct speech to indirect speech or reported speech. Changes in indicators. Direct speech we have today, now, yesterday and tomorrow. Reported speech, what do we have? Do you remember from the text? Yes, to that day for today, then or at that moment for now, although this is not in the text, yesterday, the day before, last month, the month before, tomorrow, the next day, next month, the next month, or the month after. Here, there. This, that, these, those. Great, good job. Okay, now, ready to work? Report what Noah said about her community service activities. You have a text here, which is between quotes, that is, it's direct speech. You put it in the reported speech or you put it in reported speech. I like to put a smile on people's faces. Last week my friends and I visited the orphanage. We bought the many presents. We sang together. We played games and we took a lot of photos. The orphans were very excited and happy. Tomorrow we will organize a campaign in favor of cancer patients. We have already prepared invitation cards for some famous people who showed readiness to participate. At this moment, some of my friends are trying to get some support for the campaign from the associations of the city. How are we going to report this text? Remember? We should add what? A reporting verb. He said. Or Noah said. I, he or she. Like, liked. Okay, let's check our answer. Noah said that she liked to put a smile on people's faces. She explained reporting verb that last week her friends and she had visited the orphanage. She added that they had bought the many presents, had sung together, had played games, a past perfect, huh? and had taken a lot of photos. Again, past perfect because in the text we have simple or past simple took. She added that the orphans had been very excited and happy. Noah said that the next day they would organize a campaign in favor of cancer patients. She explained that they had already prepared inv invitations cards for some famous people who had shown readiness to participate. The last part, she concluded that, reporting verb concluded that at that moment some of her friends were trying to get some support for the campaign from the associations of the city. Okay, so these are the changes we made when we changed the text from its direct speech form to a reported speech form. Now, time for a homework. Find a conversation or a talk about citizenship in your textbook and write a report about what the people said. 
Thank you for your attention and goodbye.